Aloha students. This video is on the similarity and differences between the terms multiple and product. And to step in, I'd like to tell you this little story. There's this factory. I'm sure most of you have seen a factory. Factories make products such as shoes, cars, t-shirts, fishing poles, um, cleaning solutions. They make products. And to make these products, they hire multiple workers, more than one workers. And in this particular factory, the first shift of workers, they come in cars of two. They carpool, and there are four groups of them that come. And when we are looking for multiples, it's like skip counting. First group is two, two more in the second group is four, two more in the next group is six, Two in the next group is eight. So multiples are seen often on a number line. They are very additive. But once you get into the factory, things change a little bit. Let's look at the word factor for a moment. You know, you might ask your mom, can I go to the fair? And she might say, it depends on these factors. One, you clean your room. Two, you do your homework. Three, you call your grandma. So that's a set of criteria or tasks that need to be done to get a result. So it's the same thing in math. We combine a set of number or factors to get a result or product. And in this factory, we are no longer just counting. We are computing. We are using patterns to find groups and groups of groups. To find a product, you multiply the two factors together. These are our factors. And the result is the product. Now in computation to find a product, you won't usually see that as a number line, but what you may see is an area model. And this area model is showing me four groups of two. Finding multiples and finding products are very useful tools. What you need to do is choose the right tool. Multiples are good for fractions and smaller numbers. Products and computation are great for larger number and more complex algorithms. I hope this helps you understand the difference between multiple and product.